So yeah, DP, DP photography here, bringing another video, and today, my good people, is a good day. You know, I got a few items coming in the mail, man. My air pad will be arriving from Craft & Ride, which I gotta say I'm pretty stoked about. Also, my Enduro tire, but I don't know if I'm gonna change that just yet. Um, I also have a pair of reels, a set of reels coming in a couple of days, so... I don't know if I wanna strip all that down today when I will be stripping it down in a couple days again anyway. Oh man. I hope I'm not out here too long waiting for UPS. They usually come around two. UPS, bring my shit. Please, bring my shit. It's after five. When I tell you I've been waiting on my shit all day. So yeah, I had to go track my shit down from UPS. Yeah, I don't fuck around, man. Who else out there done went and tracked UPS down before? When I want my shit, I say I want my shit. Oh, damn, that's six o'clock right now. It's like this shit been out for delivery since about eight o'clock this morning. I was expecting it around two, but like I say right now, it's about six o'clock. So I planned on, you know, just changing out the hex grip tape and the air pad on the GT. Um, I didn't get around to doing anything last night. You know, I had my kids here all day and whatnot. Things came up, you know how it is. That being said, I went and tracked down the UPS driver today, got my WTF reels, I have my Enduro tire. I also, I have everything. So what was gonna be just a small change is gonna end up being, you know, the actual change, man. This is gonna be the overhaul. This is gonna make my GT a different machine. Um, I went out and purchased a few tools to help me out. I got this to break my bead. Got some tire irons. Getting some of this stuff out of the package. Let's start with our air pad and see what that looks like. Coming from Craft and Ride. Got us some cool stickers and whatnot. This would be the air pad, what it looks like. As you can see, this corner right here is coming off already. Yeah, I'm gonna be peeling that right there in this corner. Oh, lifesaver rings. Beautiful tire, pretty. You can see the tread on there. So beautiful. Mm. <laughs> I'm waiting on this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all ain't sent me no J. Nah, but I mean, I get it though. This this is to this the whole of J. Man, cut it out, man. Cut it out. You know, I'm not sure how my old fender's gonna fit. I was getting plenty of shit for it, man. But you know, if it doesn't fit at the, you know, I got. If it doesn't fit, I have this that I ordered from Floater Shack. We're gonna be ordering some more stuff there real soon. Now, this is what I wanna see. And I haven't looked, so let's do this. Whoa. Another goodie bag just fell out. Look at that. Look at that. Gloves out of t-shirts. Look at that. Look at it, man. Howdy, y'all. Jeff here from The Flow Life. You may remember. Yep. Man, so to help me out, I'm always gonna be watching videos and whatnot. Man, I watched a couple from Jeff from The Float Life. I also watched one from Carve Creative, and we already know who I watched, Jeff Adair um, for the Hex Grip Tape. I watched these videos on repeat over and over and over again, just to see what order I should be doing this all in. And now that I'm talking about it, you know, the order is gonna be similar to what it was last time, you know? So what I wanna do first is I'm gonna change out that hex grip tape. 
Then once I change out my hex grip tape, I'm gonna set that to the side and I am going to break down this board. Once I get the board all broken down, I'm going to change out the tire. Once I finish my tire swap, I'll change out the rails and put everything back together. And once everything is all said and done, I will proceed to hook on Bluetooth and recalibrate the GT. Um, sound pretty straightforward. I know it's gonna be a hassle, man. You guys stay tuned and let me know what you think as always. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm talking about beautiful, man. All right, there we go. Beautiful. I want to take off on the underneath side. So from here, got it. say thank you guys for the cool little you know tire cap and whatnot from the float life go ahead and throw that on I do understand why y'all put rolling papers inside your little package there you know because of the float life savers you know You know, I got my ass whooped, man. Float lightsabers, man. Them things going into the trash. Man, I think I fought with them things for about mm, six, seven, eight hours, man. It was really, really late when I threw them to the side, man. But it's like, damn, the tire took me less than 30 minutes. Everything on there was pretty simple, except when it came to the float lightsabers. And I gotta tell you, man, I don't like being beat by anything, man. Those things beat me. I lost, I lost. I was so frustrated, man. I threw, I was throwing them. I was that angry. Ah, ah, ah. I was that pissed off at them float lifesavers, man. I was just thinking about them like, hey man, like what do they actually do? You know what I'm saying? Like that's what happened. You start thinking like, what do these things actually do? Oh, they save your rim if you're doing jumps and this, that. Oh, I ain't doing none of that. Nope, I'm only trying to float. Hopefully I don't dent my rim or anything like that, but if I do, you know, I'll be on a billet 
first thing ASAP, man. That being said, you know, I got a lot of upgrades and whatnot. Everything came together really nicely. Uh, you know, my hex grip foam tape, I'm loving it. Got on the front and the back. Not to mention in the back, this air pad, man, is giving me some softness as well. It don't even feel like I'm standing on anything, man. It's like I'm standing on a pillow, you know? And combine that with the Enduro tire. You know, I'm used to riding on that stock tire. I thought the stock tire was good, man. You know, like I was starting to worry like if I should actually change the tire out because I was liking it so much, man. But now that I've stepped onto this, and now add the reels to that. The reels are gonna lower your center of gravity. I heard that a million times. They don't make, I don't know what the hell that means, lower your center of gravity. I'm low to the ground. <laughs> I'm low down there, you feel me? And I'm rolling and I'm cruising and I'm feeling like I got way more cornering than I could do and shift and oh man, it's just success. That's all I can say. You know, I'm super happy, I'm super stoked, man. I can't wait to go for a ride, man. I'm just, you know, a couple minutes now, I'm getting ready to go, T minus. I will be getting uh, one of those plastic fenders because now that I have this fenderless, I am feeling the debris get thrown up and whatnot. The debris is also going into like the hex grip tape and I don't like that, man. I don't like looking down. You know, not to mention that the rocks and stuff that I step on could scrape that underneath pad and whatnot, but I don't like even seeing the dirt inside of my shit. So I'm gonna end up getting a black fender you know, the one that carries two things on both sides. So that'll be my next little upgrade. And then after that, I'll, you know, I'm thinking about getting a new billet. But I'm loving the GT, I'm loving the color. You know, this is a color that I had on the car one time. If you know, you know. Got it all put together, man. It is a beautiful thing, man. Took a lot, man. A little frustration and pain. And you know, my fingers a little bit banged up. I mean, I don't know if you could see that. Let me see if you could see bit of focus. Let me see if it's getting closer. No, you ain't gonna be able to see it. The thing is all chopped up, man, but I don't give a damn, man. The GT is all that, man. So that's it, that's a wrap, man. Thank everybody for watching, man. I wanna get out there and get to riding a little bit, man. It looks like the weather is getting ready to go left on me, so, you know, I'm gonna get out there and get to it, man. But, you know, drop it in the comments, man. Tell me what kind of modifications you guys are doing out there or what you might wanna see in the next video. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, ring that bell. Do all the good things for your boy, man. DP Photography, also known as The Real Bird. I'm out.